I remember a time in my life I had my my phone had there's there's this um, audio all the words of Jesus only the words of Jesus the words of Jesus alone not any other word everything Jesus said in the Bible they compress it in an mp3 i would listen to it and sleep and wake up and listen to it and sleep and wake up and listen i want to hear what jesus is saying he must talk to me everything in the gospels down to revelation it will repeat i will put it on auto repeat and I'm, i don't know if he's a, 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 a an advice medically i'm just telling you what i did i slept and woke up and slept and woke up and slept and woke up until my spirit knew that something was happening there you must invest in knowledge you must invest in knowledge please go and buy books don't wait for knowledge to come and meet you go to koinonia global there are all kinds of teachings listen to them don't assume don't assume that you know and don't listen once I submit to you i'm standing and i'm speaking to the whole world i would not stand here and tell lies there are there are materials audio materials that i have listened to single-handedly i know you may think it's exaggeration but i've listened to them nothing less than five to eight thousand times one message i put it on auto repeat like that and it keeps counting the goal is not just to be aware of what is being said the goal is to transport it into my spirit The alternative to this pathway is to go and look for power somewhere and it backfires back on you but if this is how you want to take god's way god is not a magician he's a miracle worker this is the labor dimension of faith that most people do not want these scriptures that i'm quoting is not just coming from heaven thank god for his grace but there was something in my mind for the holy ghost to work with yes it's god speaking through me but he's using my brain and my mind too to speak are we together there are believers today tell me one scripture you know concerning your protection nothing tell me one scripture you know concerning your victory nothing tell me one scripture you know that tells you your home is secured nothing tell me one scripture you know nothing I just know God is faithful. We know general statements like that. God is faithful. He can't fail me. I know. Tell me one scripture you know that guarantees that ministry will not fail for you. Tell me one scripture you know that guarantees that God will use you greatly. As I'm saying it now, just do the rehearsal in your mind. Many of you will find out that in truth there is almost nothing. I found your word and I did eat it. It was a joy and I rejoice into my soul. Is God challenging us? Go and get Bible on tape. Go and get Bible on um, MP3. Get all kinds of things. Listen to it. Put a flash behind your television that has scripture playing. Listen to it. Instead of listening to something that is Luciferian and is destroying your life. The remaining small faith that you had died as soon as you listened to it. I'm not saying don't disconnect with your world. No, but invest in your spirit. You are going far. And can I tell you, the days that we live in, it is men who have faith that will survive these days. Believe me. You cannot use another man's faith. The same way you cannot use another man's light to drive. He can help you temporarily, but you will need your own headlamp. To drive two what is the second key to producing bible faith meditation meditation first timothy chapter 4 please from verse 15 to 16 let's hurry up so we can pray first timothy 4 15 read with me please koinonia is projected ready one to read meditate upon these things uh-huh give yourself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear to all meditate on these things meditate on these things do you know what it means to meditate to meditate means to ponder until understanding is established 
to meditate does not just mean to look uh -uh. the goal of meditation is to produce understanding knowledge gives you awareness meditation gives you understanding or comprehension now you understand the working knowledge of that principle behind what you have read most believers don't meditate unfortunately did you know that most of the world religions encourage meditation even though they have the way they do it but people sit down and meditate until their bodies they are what they call it now their spirits leave their bodies believers don't meditate how in the world are you going to study a scripture when you are running to go and get some food in the kitchen and you're just your bible is on your hand and you quickly come back and you just say i finished it at least i finished one chapter now you look for one three verse or four verse chapter in psalms and just read it and just breeze it over and contained in it is a power to set you free let me tell you the power of meditation all the disciples came to check for the resurrected jesus and they did not see him in a hurry they ran back yet he was there but a woman came and she looked at the tomb it was empty and she refused to go she stood at the garden there and she kept looking she kept looking looking at the tomb all of a sudden she saw two angels and he said this jesus began to talk to her it took staying there to see the disciples came and they just looked and ran back but the woman stayed there stayed there until she saw meditation means to stay till you see god i've listened to many messages about finances i've listened to many messages about spiritual power about the gifts of the spirit but there has to be something i do not understand open my eyes now the spirit of god can refer you to a message that you will listen to that will buttress on that point at the end of it you say this is it by the next time you go for a meeting it will be as if you put a charm in your pocket there will be such manifestation of the power of god because you have found it someone prophesy i will find it in the name of jesus the mystery that connects your today and your tomorrow you will find it in meditation as you are meditating give the holy spirit a chance to show you things that can change your life give the holy spirit a chance to show you things that can turn your life around i listen to my own teachings myself i don't say i'm the one who preached it i listen to it. this message now i'm going back to listen to it no matter how tired i discipline myself to listen because in it i will hear something that came from him through me most believers are lazy meditation is a labor dimension of faith you will take out time and sit down and think the psalmist will usually say sila sila means stop and ponder and think i've taught you here that there are times you can listen to a message of one hour for six hours because you are stopping after five minutes what did he just say and you have to look for another scripture and look at it and repeat again until your spirit hears something i pray for someone as you begin to meditate may you hear what others did not hear may you see what others did not see in the name of jesus christ